The sun's the same size as the moon in the sky. It's hard to tell since we don't ever see them stand side by side. Besides, the sun's just way too bright for our eyes. So why do I say sun and moon look just the same size? Well, once a dark cloud passed over the sun, the sun's shape shone through for a second, but then it was gone. It looked almost like a full moon at night, when it's high in the sky and shining its light. I turned away fast from that cloud in the sky. We never look at the sun. It hurts people's eyes. But I couldn't stop wondering if it's possibly true. Does the sun appear just the same size as the moon? So I hopped on a comet, because I thought it'd be fun, to find out a secret about the moon and the sun. The sun's a great ball of fire, and it's quite far away. Our moon's dusty and small, close to Earth's where it stays. But God made them both and placed them just right, so that one rules the day and one rules the night. Sun's 400 times bigger than moon, so they say. But it's also 400 times further away. So, though sun's huge and far, and moon's small and near, in the sky, the same size is how they appear. That's because distance changes the way that we see. Just hold your thumb out. You can make it as big as a tree. Or, if you're at home, close one eye and pull back your thumb. You might be able to make it as tall as your mom. The sun helps plants grow and makes puffy clouds form. It comes up every morning to keep the animals warm. The moon rises too, but looks different each day, from new up to full, and then back the same way. The new moon's so dark, it feels like it's gone away. But it comes back, a thin crescent, and looks pretty that way. Our moonlight is brighter than on our neighbor planets, and though sometimes we may take this blessing for granted, we know it makes the night friendly to have that soft light. Earth is special to see such bright moonlight at night. The big planets have lots of moons, but no moonlight gets through the clouds and the gas that make up that crew. Our neighbor Mars has two moons, but they are quite small, while Mercury and Venus have no moons at all. In our whole solar system, from Mercury to Neptune, no place else sees the same sized sun and moon. And of course, Earth is also the only place that we know where there are animals, trees, and children who grow. We don't look at the sun, it can blind people's eyes, and we don't ever see sun and moon side by side. So, how can we know they appear in the sky the same size? because of an event very rare called a solar eclipse. When the moon goes in front of the sun for a bit, until they perfectly match up exactly in line and it gets dark in the day and the stars start to shine. Finally, the only thing left of that fiery old sun is its blue-white corona the only time we ever see one. 
And as for the animals, they hardly know what to do, because now it's dark in the day and the sky isn't blue. But then the moon, it moves on and the daylight returns. The sun was not gone for long, but a lesson was learned. Because the people who saw began to realize that from Earth, sun and moon look like they're just the same size. I know it can't be just chance we get to see such a dance between those beautiful heavenly balls. They shine with a light which by day and by night brightens the way for us all. I'm so thankful our planet was given this view of the sun and the moon and the stars. We've been perfectly placed in a great outer space to remind us of how special we are. If things ever get tough for us boys and girls, we can always look up from our sweet little world to see the truth that was written in the heavens above. God made this earth and he made it with love. The end.